Oh, ah, letter from Chuffer Dandridge. Oh, hello, Chuffer. What ho, me old champions of yesteryear. Did I hear your travel sauce box? Mention my <laughs> old mentor, Hookston Chase, yesterday. Yes. A better interpreter of the works of Arthur Wing Pinero never lived. You'd quiver at his Gaylord Quacks, and nearly applaud his Trelawney of the Wells. He always wore a toque hat and a belcher at his throat. <laughs> never a fan of dialogue. He said, never speak to an audience if you don't have to. I'd never ring them at home, either. I don't know them. Well, well, he didn't actually say it. He just looked at you, and you got the impression. You see, that's great acting. It's in the look. So he carried a box of snuff on stage, and if it looked like his character had to speak, he took a pinch and sneezed his way... <laughs> from... <laughs> from one side of the stage to the other... Very big on stage movement and comedy pratfalls over a couch, propelled, <laughs> propelled by a vicious sneeze. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Dame Footlight keeps her hanky in her reticule, I can tell you. <laughs> oh, Chuffer, you'll be the death of me. Been lost inside my